Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm about to start working on this old Sea-Doo. I'll turn you around now and show you this bad boy. So, she's pretty oxidized, as you can see. Lots of chalkiness. Gonna hope to be able to get most of that oxidation out of there. It's overall not too dirty, per se. It's just very oxidized. So, I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm just gonna get into getting it wiped down real quick. Just gonna do a quick waterless wash and get all the water out of the foot wells. And then do something with these seats. Get all that mold off there. So that's where we're at. All right, time to get everything out of the van and get to work. All right, guys, we made some progress. Looks awesome. Here's the 50-50 shot you guys are looking for. Look like this before I started. I should say we, we started. Say hi, Tony. Hi. Um, so I'm using my new Flex PE8 rotary. A uh, little three inch job, it's awesome. So that's where we're at. It looks awesome. Yes, I am using the Harbor Freight DA to finish with. So that's where we're at. I got half of it done. This will be getting my uh, three year ceramic acrylics marine coating. So without further ado, now you see a 50 50 shot. Let's do it. All right, so we're moving right along on this thing and I'm tripping as normal. Uh, so it looks great. I got Tony over here hand polishing the chrome. Uh, I'm about to machine polish this black plastic trim to make it look glossy and nice. And then I'm also gonna polish all this green. But overall, you can see that it looks pretty good. Gotta get a little bit of haziness off here and there, but uh, it's coming along. And then I'm gonna soak the engine bay down with my uh, salt barrier. And I'll also get this glossified. I'm removing some of this mold with my marine series a mold and mildew uh, remover and that's the same thing we did we used on these seats and they look fantastic no more mold so back to work all right ladies and gentlemen boys and girls here's the finished product This thing was really oxidized and I gave it everything I had and it turned out looking pretty good. There's never going to be a time where all of that oxidation can be removed, unfortunately. It's just too heavy. And Sea-Doo at this time period used really, really, in my opinion, it's not low end as far as the long, the longevity of it. It's low end as far as can you bring it back and the reality is once they're shot they're not shot forever per se they can look a lot better like this i mean if this if this was any other color but black it would it would stay looking better longer and it would be easier to uh fix but it is what it is so i polished all of everything with my gel coat oxidation eater compounding polish. I use the PE8 Flex Rotary, the three inch deal, uh, to cut all the oxidation off. And then I polished with the Harbor Freight DA and my uh, Universal All-in-One from the One system. And then we applied my three year Ceram Acrylics Pro Hybrid coating from the Marine series. So it looks great, pretty happy with that. Got all the mildew off that. I also got all the mildew off the seats. They look great now. So, there you go. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to me babble. If you need 
help with any of your detailing endeavors, 813-846-4406. This 05 SeaDoo RXT is done, looking great, especially compared to how it was when I got here. And um, that's it. So if I can help you with your detailing endeavors, like I said, use my cell phone or message me on Facebook. Uh, if you want more information about my products, check out detailjuice.com. And you can also check out my group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. That's Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. Just search for it. Send us a request. We'll get you in there learning. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day.